recording. We're live here. We have a Q&A box, um, and we try to use the chat if we can. So if you're in the chat box, type in to everyone, not just panelists. We want to try to um, make sure everybody can hear and benefit and help each other here as well. Let me share my screen and dig right in with the slides. And let me see if I have my chat here all good to go. Okay, last question. Actually, second last question. Can you see me and can you hear me? And can you see the slides in front of you? I'm gonna move this out of your way here. So tell me where you're logging in from right now. What corner of the world are you in? Someone just said France. That's pretty awesome. We have a long um, question from, looks like David there. We might have to chop that up in a couple small ones, but I'm glad to, we're, we're not gonna do questions yet. We'll do that in a second. So we have Scottsdale from Brad. We have Ken, Rob's in Connecticut, Gary in Denver, Paris. That's awesome. Do you say Regis? Regis? How do you pronounce that? Robert, right up here in LA, Reading. Hopefully the fires are under control up there. Scott, I was just up in uh, Calistoga and I'm from Walnut Creek. So hopefully those things are getting under control. Crazy, man. Plano, Texas, Gold Coast, Australia, Dayton, Ohio, Toronto, Canada, Perth, Australia, Germany, it's 1 a.m., that's dedication, <laughs> the Netherlands, Kansas, Guatemala. This is so cool. The power of the internet never ceases to amaze me. Um, just the reach you can have and the amount of people you can help from around the planet. So let's dig into that, okay? Enough for the formalities, enough for the pleasantries. Let's get into some content. So if, you've, if, you, if this is your first time with us during these live sessions, can you just type that into the chat box? If this is your first session, first live session in the community. Cool, Scott, we have a couple, okay? Actually a really good amount of first ones. Okay, let me just cover the expectations. When we say you should be ready to go for these sessions, there are three key things that we mean there. Number one, we want to find out the one thing you're working on right now. Not currently, I'm gonna ask you in a moment, what point of the process are you in? Are you in the foundation? Are you trying to get really clear on exactly who you serve and your message and come up with a product and find the right business model? Are you trying to launch or scale a funnel? Are you trying to generate more leads and customers? Are you trying, having, you know, trying to, you know, which, which framework are you working on? And then finally, we want to help you get unstuck. The main reason you're here is to remove that greatest obstacle that's standing between you and progress. There's a whole lot of motivational stuff um, I'm going to pepper in between, but it's we see it through 5,500 entrepreneurs, 5,500 entrepreneurs going through the process and, and people that are going through our certification program, which is where people from our community that serve other businesses want to get certified and use our systems and frameworks. We have an accelerator class, the second accelerator class. So we have a class, a uh, group coaching program for consultants where we're helping them come up with their offer, how to deliver a leverage coaching program, uh, and then how to close deals, how to actually sell. And we see in all these programs, the key, without question, is the foundation. Sounds really, really, really basic, but if you look at the Fletcher Method, my signature solution, just as all all of you will have yours. And if you're one of these new people, you, you might be sitting there saying, why am I filling out all these darn forms, basically, these frameworks? Can I just go place an ad on Facebook? Can I just follow the bright, shiny object syndrome like everybody else is telling me to do? No, because what we're helping you do is package and productize your knowledge and your expertise into a visual model. Because selling intangibles is an uphill battle for most people because you're trying to articulate, describe what you do instead of show somebody a clear outcome, a clear path. That's why it's called productization. Has anybody not heard that term, productization? We're productizing what normally is intangible knowledge or process. So if you're a coach or an agency or a consultant, um, you, you're an e-commerce company, it doesn't matter. What your client really wants is an outcome, and, and that's how you're gonna influence your income is by the amount of clarity you can apply toward their outcome. So for the newer folks, I mean, I could literally categorize when we see people struggle or not get the outcome that they want, it's from a few key things. They don't have a clear currency. They're not clear enough on the one problem they solve. 
and the problem they solve isn't important enough to their audience. Let me say that again. The number one reason people struggle down here in the beginning stages is because when we help you get super clear on the discrete problem that your product solves, usually for folks, the problem isn't clear enough or important enough. That sounds brutal, but it's actually really, really true because the way you can negate the need for all that marketing BS out there, all the guru stuff, um, you know, this expires at midnight and there's a countdown timer here and all the guru stuff you see happening, the way you can mitigate all of that is by simply solving an important enough problem for your audience. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Those of you that are struggling with your frameworks, it's super, super important. Think about it for a minute. Uh, if you suffered or you or your family member suffered a broken arm, are you going to need to go through a marketing funnel to find a surgeon to fix your arm and mend your bone? Of course not. Because you have a real serious problem and anyone with reasonable reviews or reasonable proximity to where you are, you're going to go and see that surgeon. Okay? So the closer you are away from medicinal essential oils and towards painkiller or surgery, the better you're going to do. Your marketing doesn't have to be fancy. Does that make sense? Okay. Tell me if that makes sense. And I'm going to have you type in right now. What's the one problem you solve for your audience? We use the million dollar message framework to articulate that. And every single thing you do, this is a huge takeaway for the, for the new folks here. Every single thing that you do ties into that problem. Everything you're ever going to do. What does that mean? It means once you find, you, you fill out what we call this currency calculator. You all remember this if, you're, if you've been through the first few modules. Once we take the category, the way you used to articulate what you do, like oh, I'm a personal trainer, I'm a business consultant, I'm a Facebook ads person, I'm a PR expert. Once you take the category and convert that into a currency, that currency lives through the whole journey. That currency lives in your profit pyramid. That's the only thing you ever talk about is, look, I find out what phase people are at when, with their leads, with their weight loss, with whatever they're struggling with. I take that from level two to level three. Then when you come up with your signature solution, you say, okay, this is my product, just like the Fletcher Method has its own. This is your way to show your clients the exact process, the exact stages and steps they have to go through to get there. And then guess what? When you launch your funnel, this is the image that goes in your Facebook ad. This is the image. This is the thing you walk them through on your thank you video. This is the sales script you use. You're going to interview them and see how they're doing in all these areas. And it's, it's a complete enclosed system. It is not a bunch of random stuff. Everything fits together. And John, our, our, our first certified coach, and our, I think we have, what, 75 other certified coaches now, they will tell you that the number one way I can measure if you're going to be successful, not just with our system, but as an entrepreneur, as a marketer, as someone trying to grow their business, is the clarity and specificity related to the problem that they solve. How specific are you on the problem that you solve and how important or what's the magnitude of that problem that you solve? Okay, That's why we have you go through these painful steps and getting the foundation right. Because when I can get really clear on who you serve and exactly the one problem you solve and how to turn it into a message, everything else starts to get go downhill. Every, I don't mean go downhill, that sounds bad. Every, everything from there is a downhill, it's downhill journey. It's like, cool, it's fill in the blanks. So if you think you're taking copywriting courses and doing split testing on landing pages and all this stuff, if you want to be a professional marketer, great, go do all that stuff. You know, I geek out on some of that stuff. I'm kind of a nerd. But if you just want to go get some customers, you don't need all that fancy schmancy stuff. You can spend years trying to do all that. Like on one hand, I can learn every trick to fool somebody into buying something. And on the other hand, I can simply articulate and show them a visual model that represents how well I can solve a really important problem that they have. Who's going to win? Right? Option B. Solving an important problem is the biggest gift you can give yourself because you don't need to be a freaking copywriter. You say, look, here's a case study how we helped one busy executive lose 20 pounds 
in the last 30 days without giving up carbs. Here's a case study of how one local pediatric dentist got 20 new patients without spending a dollar on advertising. Patients, weight loss, those are serious problems. Health, wealth, life, relationships, finances. Um, solve one of those problems, folks. And the last thing I'll say about this, if you solve a problem that leads up to that, in other words, you sell art or you sell one little piece of the puzzle. You, you run a yoga studio. Or you teach people how to launch a yoga studio. That's not what they want. It's still not the problem you solve. You help them learn yoga so they can live 10 to 20 years longer and be there for their kids' graduation. You help them learn Facebook ads so they can launch, get their first 10K online. So the stuff that you do is the information. You need to be selling the transformation. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So let's, tight, let's look at the problem that you solve. Some people are asking questions, um, clarity on your niche or what you're working on. What I want to know, I just want you to type in one word and one word. What's the number one problem that you solve? What is your currency? So if you, if, if you asked your audience, you know, what are all the attributes I can increase or decrease for my clients based on your category of business? Oh, if you're, a, if you're a personal trainer, you can increase their strength and their energy and their confidence. You can decrease their weight and their anxiety and, and their food bills or whatever, right? What are all the things you increase and decrease? And what's the one thing you're going to solve with this campaign? What's the one problem you're going to solve? It's not two. Okay. Scott Warner, so you're, you're typing your million-dollar message. I just want you to type in the problem that you solve. Fulfillment relationships. Okay, um, those are too way too general. I'm going to show you how I'm going to help you get them more clear. Money too general. It sounds clear, but what does that mean? Revenue. What what is money? Is it income? Is it profit? Is it revenue? Money is not enough. Retirement goals. Which retirement goal? Relationship confidence. So they can do what? Healthy aging. So they can do what? So they can do what? I want you to ask your. I want you to do a little exercise here. Um, when you look at the problem you solve for your audience and you say, you know, you have a million dollar message. I help aspiring, you know, real estate agents sell their first five homes in less than 30 days so they can become a top, so they can make a six figure income without work on weekends. Okay. You have to ask yourself, so what? Okay. Here, so the problems that people that you're, that you're typing in are too vague. Okay. One word. You come to me, here, here's how I want you to ask you the question. I should go to you, Luz, I should go to you, Arena, Aziz, Dadel. I should go to you, Jim, Scott, for what? He's the person to go through for what? She is the person to go through for what? Like if you want to, if you want to close deals from stage, if you want to learn speaking, boom, get more speaking gigs. You want to get more leads from Facebook, you go to this person. You want to, you want to win a, a 5K? learn how to run like a lead athlete, go to this person. What is the one word that would be on your tombstone? Like you knocked it out of the park at this. You were, became the expert at this. What's the one word? The currency is one word. That's why we say my category was fitness. My currency is pounds. I hope you lose 30 pounds. My category was lead generation or fulfillment or revenue, right? So you have revenue, okay? How much revenue? That's the metric. My currency was healthy aging. My currency was impact. Okay? So I want you to think about so they can do what? What's the ultimate end game for them, the most important goal? And I want you to understand that you, you don't have to struggle with this because if you look at one of the first things you do here is – you list the pains and frustrations of your audience. So for your currency, for when it comes to fitness, what are the main pains and frustrations people face? When it comes to advertising, when it comes to Facebook ads, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to uh, parenting, what are the top things that stand between them and success? Those are the pains and frustrations. Okay, well, I don't have enough time. I, you know, I, I don't, it's too technical. It's too overwhelming. I don't have a clear path or a clear strategy. I'm totally um, information overload. I'm stressed out. I don't have enough confidence. Okay, cool. Where do I get that information? Do you think you should do an ask survey? The answer is no. Why? 
because unless you are Henry Ford or Elon Musk, you probably aren't launching something so revolutionary that no one's ever done it before. There, I said it. Okay. So if you're solving a problem that people have been trying to solve because it's an important problem, like, like, you know, launching, getting more customers into their business or meeting someone that they can have a meaningful relationship with or losing weight. There's a reason why the market is so saturated with all those, with those problems, with that language. There's a reason why every Facebook ad says three simple steps to getting your first high ticket client. You know, the three recipes to lose 20 pounds. Like, we get jaded on that stuff, but the truth is those problems are so important that they're always going to be there. So solve one of those for a different, different market, a different segment of the market, or create a signature solution that helps you stand out in the market because you have your own way of solving that problem. So I don't need to do a survey. I can go on Amazon and look at books. I was just doing this a minute ago with one of our accelerator clients, uh, Danny and James world-class um, pickpocketer, illusionist, magician, and his currency is confidence. He, he helps entrepreneurs literally 10x their confidence in 90 days so they can speak and sell and, and, and grow their business without fear of failure, okay? But instead of doing a survey and taking 90 days to figure this out, dude, you go to every book on that topic on Amazon and you get into the Facebook groups and you become an indigenous part of those communities in that area. So instead of going and trying to pay for a big extensive survey on busy dads and what their, what their challenges are as a parent, I go and join the dad groups on Facebook and I just talk to people and I ask them questions and I go and look at all the parenting books on Amazon and I say, what are the top reviews and, the, and what are the one star reviews and five star reviews say? Okay. Really important. Why? Because the five star reviews tell me what problems the book solved very well. The one star reviews tell me what problems the book did not solve very well. And the title and the tagline give me the currency and the messaging that that market that's responsive. Sorry, that that market responds to. All the information you need is right in front of you. And we just have to understand how it fits together. So if you've done this and you've said, what are the top reasons why my, my, my target market doesn't have enough revenue, doesn't have enough leads, is paying too much on taxes, doesn't understand their options, okay? Well, what's going to happen if they don't solve those problems? This is critical, folks. It's not good enough to say, oh, people are struggling with, uh, you know, they don't want to go to the gym, they don't have motivation. Well, what's going to happen if they don't get motivation? They're, they're, they could die early or get diabetes or be overweight or die single or never have a family or not be there to protect their children, okay? Those are serious implications that will happen in the long term eventually. Now, what are, what are the goals of your target market? My market just wants these simple things. I just want to... You know, I want a system that works. I don't want to spend a lot of time and money on it. And I just want to know that I have, you know, just five to 10 new customers per month. Great. Or I just want to look and feel my best without buying a whole bunch of supplements and working out for four hours a day. Great. Why do you want that? Why do you want that? Like, why is that goal important to you? What's the long term, the big reason for that? Oh, so I can make a difference and have a legacy so I can protect my children and their children. So I can find the love of my life and start a family, right? So this information is all there. And the fastest way for you to be successful as an entrepreneur is to go after a target market, get really clear on the one problem you're going to solve, do it in a more clear, visual, powerful way than anybody else. Show your target market that you have a clear path from point A to point B and really, really, really turn the screw on point A and paint the vision of point B. In other words, really understand the true pain of being stuck here. Your mark, how is it affecting their health, their time, their relationships, their income, their schedule, their family to be here? And what's it going to feel like to get here, the place that you take them to? Well, how is it going to impact their income, their schedule, their weekends, their confidence, their, their, uh, sex life, I mean, the, anything, the, their intimacy, their relationships, their job, their income, what are all the things that can be true once they get here? 
And your job is to say, look, for the first time in your life, Mr. Avatar, Mrs. Avatar, there's a path. And of course you're struggling because you're trying to consume all this information that's all over the place. Well, guess what? Here's why you're struggling. You don't have a path. Doctors have paths. They go to medical school. Yoga instructors go get certified. Chefs go to culinary school. So your audience doesn't have a path. And that's why we create a visual model that demonstrates and shows them instead of tells them. And it also becomes every piece of content you ever create in your sales script and your marketing funnel and everything else. This is the DNA of, of you launching a successful campaign or business, period. You have to get it right. And the first step is the currency and the problem that you solve. Okay. Is that insightful? That is probably the condensed version in, in like 10 or 15 minutes of the keys to success and how everything fits together and why it's important to do it this way. We see people, and this is just our fault as a team, it's our failure when people try this for 10 minutes and they go through the training, they fill out a couple frameworks, they go, oh, this is complicated, I'm out. Or, yeah, I didn't really do the profit pyramid because um, I don't see how, why it helps me or, I didn't create a visual model. I just want to go ahead and launch. I just went through the Facebook ad training. Oh, I just went ahead and did a webinar first. It doesn't work that way. You're building a, you're trying to build a huge empire on a foundation made of, of clay and straw. It doesn't work. Okay. That's weird. Clay and straw. What's, what's the weakest house on the three little pigs? Was it made out of like gum wrappers? I forget. Okay. So, Can you repeat it about 15 times? Yes, you, that's why you have the recording. So that's, that's super, super important. It's the context I'm trying to give you. It's like, you're, let's just be honest, you, the, your success rate, your, your likelihood of being successful going through this process is commensurate to your belief that it's the right thing and your desire to be successful. Like. You know, go, go walk around town to your local grocery store or your local entrepreneurs meet, meet up and you'll see 85 to 90% of people aren't successful after years of trying. And it's because they didn't have a clear path or they never followed it. That's usually the only diagnostics for someone that's struggling is they're not focused on one outcome or they're quitting along the way. People quit working out, they quit relationships, they quit business ideas, they quit marketing funnels. So it's so darn, I, the saddest thing that we see is how easy it is for people to quit and don't be one of those people. You're here right now at 1 AM in Germany and whatever time it is in Australia, it's actually tomorrow in Australia, which freaks me out because I always know the world's not going to end when I talk to coach John here in Australia because it's already tomorrow there. Isn't that cool? Okay. So I'm going to say one more time. Type in the problem that you solve, the one problem you solve for your market. Type it in. The one problem you solve for your market. Everybody type that in the chat box. 52 people, I want 52 comments, except for Rebecca. You get, you get a pass. Confidence, income, okay? We have two out of 52. I cut my uh, impact income. Okay, we got a bunch of more coming in here. This is a huge, huge exercise. Now, what I want you to do is you're reading others. And, and some of you are typing into panelists. I want you to, when you make a comment, you can choose who it goes to and you can say panelists and attendees. Uh, you want it to say pretty much all panelists and attendees so we can read each other's stuff and see each other's stuff. Really important, we're helping each other. It's a group, okay, we win together. So here's the filters I want you to run this through. When you're typing on these problems that you solve, number one, is it in the exact language of your avatar if they woke up in a cold sweat at three in the morning, frustrated to the gills, frustrated as hell with this, and they're not gonna take another damn day of feeling this way? What does that mean? So your avatar wakes up in the morning, okay? Am I gonna go, what you gonna say? I just want an automated business, says Sheldon typed in. I would say no. They want an automated business so they can do what? I just want to make enough income to not have to check my bank account every freaking morning. That's what the automated business gives them. I just want more listings, okay? Yeah, if I can get 10 more listings so I can do what? So I can be a top real estate agent and retire on freaking time. 
okay? Everybody, type in the one word, okay? Passion, revenue, revenue is okay, but is it, in the, is it in the language of your avatar? Because sometimes we say things in our own vernacular that's either too nerdy or shows a lack of relevance and, and, and it's not indigenous to that tribe. It's not, you know, they smell it a mile away when you go up to a, um, a doctor's office and say, do you want more customers? No, they want more patients. So is it in their language and is it actually what keeps them up at night, right? Is the problem that you solve so serious that they articulate it in their way? Loneliness, yes, that's clear. Okay, I help you find the, I help you, I give you the exact tools and strategies to get 50 more dates so you can find the love of your life without ever fear without zero with zero fear of ever feeling lonely again without ever watching Matlock on another Friday night I just dated myself wow it's weird growth too vague Scott it's really important like we talk about do you want to grow your business do you want to be more healthy do you want to feel better those are all platitudes They're, they don't have a there's no tip to the spear so they cut through nothing there's no has to be razor sharp and razor clear. We make it super clear, super measurable. So what are the ways to measure business growth? Or is it personal growth? I say, I assume it's business growth. You're talking about sales, you're talking about revenue, you're talking about leads, you're talking about traffic. These words like visibility and authority are junk. Everyone, I mean, if you deleted the marketers Facebook groups saying, be the authority in your niche, oh, Oh, please shoot me now like stop what the hell does that mean do you want authority or do you want income you know I followed all these when I first started on online marketing I followed all the authorities and all their podcasts and saw their income reports that were the same for five years that you can make in one month if you learn paid advertising authority doesn't pay the bills what pays the bills is a, a measurable scalable system for customers what pays the bills is dollars in Profit pays the bills. So growth doesn't pay the bills. So if you, I'm going to give you a gift. If you are a B2B provider, that you need to be really close to the P&L of your client. Do you help them save a measurable amount on hiring or products or services or fulfillment or delivery? Or do you help them gain a measurable profit or revenue? So don't go to traffic when you can go to leads and don't speak to leads when you can speak to clients. Even if you're a lead generation agency and you help them get more leads, that's not interesting to them. That sounds like hard work. It sounds yucky. It sounds like a commoditized term. Leads, leads, what's leads? No, we help you basically spend two to 10 times less or get two to 10 times more leads and customers per month. We help you, we give you the, we give you, the clear path to get 20 to 30 more customers this month without spending another dollar on advertising. The alt, everybody has an end currency, the end game currency. The closer you are to that, the easier your marketing becomes. So have you ever seen someone who, whose business is to create a problem and then solve it? That's what restless leg syndrome is. It's a pharmaceutical company created a medical condition and then they created a prescription to solve it. Well, it's genius, but it was also sketchy because you don't want to be, you don't want to tell people why they need emulsified ionized water. You want to find people that are just thirsty. Okay. You don't want to have to, 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 to use the, the spin selling model. You don't have to want to create an explicit need and then solve it. You just want to start the biggest shortcut is just starting with solving the problem that they have. Okay, so tax savings, confident, life success. Now, sometimes because you have advertising restrictions in your marketplace or, be, or you just, you know, if you're in the financial world or the, the investing world, you can't say, I'm going to help you save another $20,000 this month uh, in your investments for retirement. You can't do that. But you have to come as close as you can to being clear. So life success I don't think someone wakes up and says, I just want life success. I want you to think about how literal I'm being here. Okay. Very, I know what you do, Robert. I'm saying, but it has to be that clear. Like no one's going to wake up in their bed and go, I want life success. Now they might say, if I could only just finally 
pursue my dream of doing this, or if I could only have the balance I need to spend more time with my family, if I only had financial security so I could travel more. Okay, those are explicit outcomes. Those are specific currencies. Life success and business growth, okay? Cravings, so lose. Um, if you deal with you know tobacco, alcohol, cigarettes, caffeine, whatever cravings you're dealing with, um, then so they can do what? Right. So if I look at the problems people are facing, what's your biggest struggle between you and quitting smoking? Well, here's my pains for my cra the cravings are too strong. Okay, well, why do you want to quit smoking? If your simple simple goal is to quit smoking or to, to stop using drugs or whatever the habit is, so you can do what? What's what's your why? What's the big reason for you to try to be solve this problem? Why are we having this conversation today? Uh, because, well, the reason I want to if I could kill cravings, I could I could uh, be there to meet my grandchildren. I could be able to, can, to not compromise my biggest hobby, which is running and being healthy, okay? Um, to stop spending all my money on gambling so I can actually put my kid through college, okay? This is the why, okay? The craving is the mechanism, but the outcome, the point B in your signature solution is the big why, okay? And make that measurable and close to their wallet. Okay, so when Sheldon says automated business, Sheldon, I'm going to read down here. You, I think you've amended that, hopefully appended that. Is it amended or appended? Which means start over. Um, amplify, there's, okay. There's a way to get to the problem that you're solving. Yeah, you simply decide what's the, what problem do you want to solve? This is, this goes all the way to what we call the target market matchmaker, which is like, if I'm going to launch a new business or find a niche, I need to like step back a minute. Like don't, your life is so freaking short. Don't, I, it makes this, the reason why I don't go to any of the internet marketing events and consider myself part of the marketing community is because I think it's just, I think it's a pretty shitty, frankly, because people are talking, what niche are you in? I'm in the dog training forex niche. Like it's like all about money. Like you know what 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 opportunity are you exploiting? That's part of it. The problem you're solving, but do you have a true passion? Like would you do it for free? You know, um, does it come easy to you? Would you help people if you were a billionaire? Would you do this? Are you clear in the problem that you solve? Is there money to be had? Don't sell you know, Gucci bags to homeless people. Like you really want to help homeless people, but maybe the problem you should solve for them is not uh, selling them Gucci bags because they can't afford it, okay? Can you actually create a presence in that niche? Can you actually become a go-to leader in that niche? Is there a pathway? Can you actually find your audience online? So we have in our new avatar framework, we have right in the beginning of this whole process, we have people say, look, where are you going to find these folks? Don't go create a system. Don't go build a uh, Ritz Carlton in the Mojave desert. Like nobody can get there. No one knows it's there. It's awesome, but no one will ever see it. Can you reach these people? Okay. This is all the stuff we want to do way early. And we want to get clear on the one problem we're going to solve. What's the problem we're going to solve? Okay. Clients, more clients. Yeah. And then we're going to make that measurable. Retirement lifestyle, be more specific, Gary, is that are you going to help travelers, um, pre-retirees live, you know, um, travel X days per month? Are you can help them move to the house of their dream. What is it? What are the characteristics or attributes of a good retirement lifestyle? What do they want? And, they, and you just simply go to your market and you look at all the books that are out there or you ask your customers, you ask your network and you say, okay, um, let me take once, once I've found all the problems and fears people have with retirement, all the pains and worries they have from the, the finance, whatever, whatever category you're in, financial to their health to all their pains and frustrations with retirement and all their goals when it comes to retirement. And you list all those things. You see, you make a big old laundry list and you say, here's all the, just like I do with in my example of personal training. I use this example because everybody can relate to it. Um, what are all the things you want to increase or decrease? Okay, now I'm going to go to my target market or and 
I'm going to decide what I'm best at, what I want to do, what I have passion for. So you know what? I'm going to help this one specific part of the segment of my market with weight loss. That's it. And I'm not going to talk about the other stuff because it's overwhelming and it dilutes the effectiveness and clarity of the one problem I'm trying to solve. So a lot of folks we see in their million dollar messages saying, you know, what? I'm going to help you get more muscle mass and lose weight and feel better and look your best um, by using paleo diets and working out only nine times a week. It's like, what? That sounds horrible. It sounds like a, uh, it's confusing. It sounds like a lot of work. Just say we have a clear step-by-step -step program for you to lose 20 pounds of stubborn fat without, you know, fasting or giving up foods you love or setting foot in a intimidating gym. Sign me up. Simplicity, clarity. Okay. So how do I articulate retirement lifestyle? Control and confidence and revenue. Pick one. I mean, it. It's, it's hard to do this. This is the filter. Here's all the things I could do. I'm going to pick one. Connection. So they can do what? Respect. So type in, just to be clear, Mike, is it people respecting their relationships with their kids, with their peers in the workplace? Um, so they can do what? Like, it's like if I'm tired of not feeling respected by my spouse. I just want to have a romantic marriage with trust and respect so I can not ever have to worry about divorce. What's my ultimate, ultimate goal? What is respect going to get them? Why, why does respect matter at all? What does respect inform or help them achieve? Okay. It's not, and it's, it's not an end of itself. Okay. It's not an ends. It's the means. What are we trying to drive to? What is their ultimate destination? Yep, the seven times is a really good exercise. Um, we say ask why seven times. Like if someone says, have you interviewed a client and they said, I just want more leads or I just want to be a leader in my niche. Well, what does that mean? I just want to have an online presence, all these platitudes. Well, what, why? What do you mean by that? How, what's your ultimate goal? Why is it important? Well, so I can um, get more traffic to my website. Okay, but wait a minute. What good is that if you get spam traffic from India? Like what? What, why is traffic important? Why do you think traffic is an important part of your strategy? Because that's the only way I'm going to get leads coming in. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask for the leads worth to them and all that stuff. But the more important thing is why are leads important? Like why is it a goal for you right now to be focused on the number of leads coming? So we can close, can we get more people on sales demos. Our sales people are busy and they're closing more deals. Okay. So what is the ultimate goal there? What's your, where are you at now? And what is your goal with sales? Okay, well, because for the last five years, since I started this business, I've been stuck at 10 K a month in revenue. And if I can get to 50 K in revenue, I don't have to work weekends. I can hire an operations manager and fucking fish on the weekends. Okay. So you want to go from 10 to 50 K in revenue and all the other shit is just meaningless terms that you don't care about. And I don't care about. So let's focus on your real goal and put all of our energy there. Who cares how you get that? Let's not worry about the little mechanisms and tech stuff. Let's just get you to that revenue goal. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Monetize their passion, a million dollar lifestyle, overcome fear so they can do what? Love so they can do what? Okay. So Stephanie, your character's fear. I help you eliminate fear. Well, What's the positive spin on that? Complete confidence or calm or safety, right? So, so they can do what? I help you limit all the fear of dating, all the fear of starting a business, all the fear of failure in your business so you can reach seven figures. So you can launch a seven-figure consulting practice with, with zero fear of failure or in 90 days without spending money on paid ads. Great. Now tell me how the hell I do that because that sounds great. Just eliminating fear uh, is a powerful thing, but it's, it's a, without context, it lacks effectiveness in marketing, if that makes sense. If you just eliminate fear right now in an ad, you, people might click on it for curiosity, but like, like the, the simple three steps, three step program that not only myself, not only our 500 clients, whatever you have, but the world's most successful horseback riders or day traders or, uh, new entrepreneurs, whoever your avatar is, the simple three-step system 
that new entrepreneurs use to eliminate all fear of failure in 90 days so they can generate their first take 10K online without fear of failure. Great, now we're talking, okay? Fear, in what context? Like, what does that do for me? How can I get a, uh, can I say the client gets a specific if I have no references? I get that question all the time, Alex, that's a good question. So here's the question. What do you do if you're, you find out, hey, I want to, I want to, I, I figured out my business niche. I want to solve this segment of the market. I want to solve this problem for them. I'm super fired up about it, but I don't have any references. I haven't helped them before. So I'm going to pull a framework from our um, accelerator group. And I call this the product matrix, which is, you know, what are, what are the different ways you can make money with your signature solution? You don't, you can't do this until you have a signature solution, but a signature solution is just a, a pathway. It's you productizing what you do. Okay. But there's a lot of ways to make money off knowledge off of helping. So, so if I had a three simple step process to help people eliminate fear forever, um, or a three, a simple three step process to help people go from 10 to, to 50 K and as a consultant, well, I could sell a book about that. I can sell a training membership site, a membership site or a training course. You see a lot of that. Um, I can make a software application. I can do live workshops or events locally around the country or the world. Um, I can do a leverage program where I can take a group of people through this outcome. I can work with them one-on-one -on -one or I could do done for you. Okay. So these are the only ways on the planet. Um, each other way is probably some splinter of this to monetize your product. I'm calling it your product. You need to think about it as a product. You have a product. You don't have an agency. You don't have a service. You have a product. The product is the outcome of the currency that you work with. The product is where you deliver them and the signature solution is the pathway. This is your product. This is your visual model that represents your product. We're going to help you go from here to here. Boom. Okay. So if you've never worked with someone, Alex, or anybody else, you've never worked with a client before. And, well, you have to. Because why would I want to hire you? Why would you want to hire you? Would you, would you refer you to your parents or someone you love? No. But it's easy to do that. All you have to do, like the fastest way, if I, if I had, I'm not messing with you. If I had to generate, let's say, $50,000 by Wednesday, by Monday, what would I do? If I had to generate 10, let's make it more attainable um, so it doesn't seem so crazy if you're starting out. If I had to generate $10,000 by Monday, what would I do? Um, I would get really clear on the problem I solve, and I'd put together an offer to work with them, not just create another course, not just another you know, another membership that nobody goes through or another or a book where you don't really understand how it applies to you. I would work with you and hopefully in a group setting and I'd help you get an outcome. And then I would take that outcome and use that to get thousands of more customers. So Alex, what do you do if you don't have references? Simple. You go find someone you can help and you work for them for free and you kick ass for them and then the rest of your year or your career could be spent off simply leveraging a case study like that. What's the most powerful form of marketing? It's a, it's a test. It's a case study. It's saying, Oh, here's someone like you. That's exactly like you in your exact situation who is at your exact point a, and here's the, the exact steps I use to get them to point B and the exact outcome. Holy shit. Show me that. Like here's a tall, nerdy internet nerd. Um, how he, you know, won his first 5K with, um, and, and from going from the couch to winning a race in 30 days with zero knee pain. Um, whew, wow, sounds great to me. You know, here's how I lost 30 pounds with no motivation. Sign me up. Just kidding. So go get a result for somebody. The best way to articulate your ability to help somebody get results is go get them results. Okay. Um, yeah, when you see those people, Robert, I saw somebody, uh, one of these kids that's a pseudo celebrity in the internet marketing world. And they, I, you know, I, 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 I look at reverse engineer people's marketing systems. So I went through and clicked on stuff 
and I get an email saying, oh, this course expires tonight at midnight. And I go, God, how does that person create a new course every week? What a crazy business they must be in because if it expires at midnight, then no one else can buy it. No, it doesn't expire at midnight. It's fake scarcity. You don't need to do any of that stuff. You do not need countdown timers, fake scarcity. This expires at midnight. That's BS. Why does your digital freaking ebook expire at fucking midnight? It doesn't. Nothing expires at midnight, folks. It doesn't have to. If you solve a clear enough problem with honesty, integrity, and you show people a clear path, your shit does not have to expire at midnight. Okay? Um, so Regis says, is it time... Does the time frame 12 months to solve a problem too long? Uh, so let me type in any questions, just general questions. I'll run through these as well. Okay, so is it is 12 months too long is what you're saying. Let me read this here. I'm going to go back. So yeah, Regis says, is the time frame 12 months to solve the problem too long? I help um, us established real estate agents add two to 10 K per month in their income with 12 months less. Here's a couple things that are important for you. Deferred gratification is the enemy of direct response marketing. Okay. Because I don't think that I would want to sign up for a program if it said, Hey, here's how you can lose, um, nine pounds in nine years. I'll be like, shit, I already have gained another 70. So, what I want to do is chunk out what is the, what is a, a really cool milestone I can help them achieve in the next 90 days that leads to that ultimate outcome. Very important. Okay. So if you have a program where it's real serious stuff, like you're helping people start a whole new business and leave their day job or find and vet and get married to the, you know, the, the love of their life or, or grow from zero to a million dollars in business, you solve a very important problem. The, the thing is, is there's no fuse to ignite your rocket. What, that, what I'm saying here is when I was working in the explosives industry in the military, there was three, three types of explosives. There was the fuse, there was the um, amplification, it was the incendiary device, and there was the payload, the high explosive, the stuff that actually goes boom. And I promise this has to do with you. <laughs> so the high explosive, you can actually light a lighter to. You could take C4 explosives, and you can light a lighter under there and hold it to it. You can throw it against the wall. You can throw it in a fire and it won't explode because it's safe, it's stable because it's so dangerous. So that's what you have. You have this awesome 12 month thing where you really help people, but it's not sexy enough because they're living a life where they want some more listings this month. Okay, so what you do is just chunk out the first milestone a really clear 90 day outcome that you can help them achieve and then build around that and focus on the transformation. So you might be serving two parts of your target market. You might say, look, I'm going to help you go from, from this money to that revenue first. Hey, what's up, Owen? Hey bud. Do you want to be on a webinar? Come here, bud. Yeah. I can't see if you're back there, bud. Say, yes, I can, but, but this is actually a webinar with people around the world. Thank you, pal. That was Owen, one of, I think there's 36 children here. Um, three of them are mine. So what I was saying is like, take a 90 day objective from what you can do. Now the door is open, and 20 more kids and a dog are gonna come in here. Unpack what you can do in 90 days and focus the hell out of that. Say, look, my goal is to help you get 10 new listings per month in the next 90 days without spending more money in ads or without with zero tech BS. Okay. How to get your next five referrals in this month. So if you look at your signature solution, the way you productize what you do, maybe the, maybe, you know, you, you can anchor off a very discreet short compressed goal. And then so you can become a six figure agent, in the next, in the next 12 months, become a market leader in your industry, become a t become the top agent in your niche in the next year, um, without hiring additional staff or without spending money in advertising or what's the, the biggest pain that you remove. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me look at some of these other comments. Really good stuff so far. Okay. What, uh, sorry. 
Let me read this here. What would your currency be if you help entrepreneurs get unstuck with their funnels? Well, guess, guess what are you really helping them do? If they have an exi- I love that you're working with people that have an existing funnel. If you're helping them get unstuck, what's the implication of that? What does stuck look like? Um, I can't get it launched. It's not converting. Um, I can't get the pixels all set up. I've been working, and this is, this is what we do too, obviously. I mean, I've been working on this online shit for six years, and I still don't have a dependable lead generation mechanism in my business. Okay? So what would your currency be if you help entrepreneurs get unstuck? Um, no. I help you get completely unstuck and launch a successful funnel in 30 days. I help you launch a six figure funnel in the next 30 days. Or I help you get live. So like we have someone that does membership courses and people are trying to put together their courses for years or months or at least like, no, I'm going to help you go from idea to launch in 30 days without buying any complicated software. Okay. So what does getting unstuck give them an outcome? It's revenue. I guarantee you can even say launch a successful funnel. Um, go, you know, we remove all of the friction and anxiety and give you the exact steps. Well, I'm going to work with you on a proven model to help you get unstuck and launch a successful marketing funnel in 30 days so you can get to six figures and beyond without ever logging in to a computer again, without ever worrying, copying and pasting another line of code again. Okay. Okay. So where would I, it's a great question. Um, where would I fit a newly published book into my marketing? I love that question. Um, on the product ladder or in the funnel, it's simple. If you look at all the ways you can monetize knowledge, we said there's info products and there are, um, you know, you can do memberships, you can do training, you can do coaching, you can do one-on-one, you can do done for you. There's only certain, like your book covers a path from point A to point B. Um, it should because you should take your book and turn it into that signature solution. Why? Because your book is showing people what they need to do, but it's kind of give them more context. It's nowhere near as effective if you help them get an outcome by working with you. So what does everybody else do with a book? There's no secret. They have a low price front end offer that leads to some conversion event. So in the Fletcher method, we call that a conversion event. It could be a webinar. It could be a launch series. Uh, it could be a simple authority amplifier video. So if the book was the lead magnet, okay, and instead of just a free ebook, you might say, oh, that's a newly published book. It's 12 bucks or whatever. The reason why people offer them for free is because they know their numbers. They know that every book they give away uh, is actually worth like 50 to $75 in most cases because it's reverse engineering. Like, oh, out of a thousand books, um, we get we have 300 people sign up for a webinar, and out of that we have 30 people pay us for our $2,000 course. So now I know that it, out of a thousand people got the book, um, each one of those people is worth what, what the, what's the math on that? 500 bucks or something. So you just give away the book, or if you can't because of your publisher or Amazon doesn't allow you to price lower or give content for free that you're paying for there, great. Um, the best way to do it is if you look at what Frank Kern does and Russell Brunson and every kind of book funnel out there, you have to have that back end offer. The book is not the funnel. The only way you can have a successful book funnel is if you have other information products or other books to bundle into a subscription or a bundled offer. Like get this first book. Oh, the upsell is, Oh, this is one book in a series. That's what my wife's doing right now with her children's books. Oh, this is one out of a series of five. You can get all five now for half off. Cool. So now you can advertise that. But the big payoff is, and we're having an event where you can come and learn how to use these strategies with your children or you can come and learn this. So again, what's, what's, what's next after the book? A book is an incredible thing, um, but it's empty. It's not a, it's a, unless you are one of the 0.005% that reached that bestseller level, it's not the significant income stream. Um, you have to think, how can I monetize the rest of it, the, re- the people that come into it rather? And it's usually this model here. I stand by it so strongly. Um, think about it. Like if you solve a serious problem, the, the, the least amount of help you give them, the less amount of help you give them, the least likely they are to be successful. So the pros and cons is like 
how many people read books and actually go and lose that weight finally or meet the love of their life or actually implement the stuff in their book and reach 10K as a consultant? Very few people actually get a transformation from the book. A smaller percentage from memberships and training because they get discouraged, they don't take action, uh, they scratch the itch when they bought it, they feel good, but then they do nothing or they, or they don't have enough help when they get stuck, okay? Software is just usually an empty vessel to implement strategies that they would get somewhere else, um, not in our case. Live events and workshops, okay, cool, you can get a lot done in a day or two, but you know, is it really going to transform your life? It's this. So how do you take the knowledge in the book and just say, cool, you bought the book, um, I just put together this really quick training, it's, it's 20 minutes long, I'm going to walk you through some of the nuances so you can put this to use in your business or life right away, and then you walk them through and you, you make them an offer to get to a strategy call. On that strategy call, you interview them and you pitch them a five to $10,000 program for six to eight weeks where you're gonna work with them. Or if you're just starting out where you're gonna work one-on-one -on -one with them and help them get a result and document that result. So, I mean, the simplest lifestyle in the world for you as an entrepreneur is to solve that serious problem and charge enough where you can scale it in a leverage way. What if every quarter you took 20 people through a program that was 10K? You know, there's a lot worse livings you can live than 200K a quarter. And, and people are way more stoked to work with you. There's none of that weird stuff and refunds and chargebacks and shadiness because you're working with a small group of people directly, helping them. Okay. Um, that's what our accelerator program does. That's what our certification program does. It's like we. We go and grade their homework and we don't, let them, we don't let them go past the avatar if their avatar framework sucks or they haven't put enough time into it or they don't have a clear enough message or their currency is too vague. We don't let them move forward and they get frustrated a little bit, but then the outcome is like, okay, cool. Because you did it right, you're way more likely to have the, the outcome you're looking for, okay? Okay, let me go through a couple more quick questions here. Great question so far. I'm about to launch my authority amplifier, says David. I have a question about building my list given I'm B2B at this time. I can't invest in ads. You know the most effective B2B thing in the world to during leads is direct outreach. Um, blocking and tackling. We use a tool called Apollo.io, but Char and our team, is we've totally changed our strategy from sending out thousands of B2B emails, which aren't spam, uh, especially if you're outside of the um, the European Union, um, you can just you can just send emails to business owners. It's totally legal and fine. Hey, I noticed you are using Infusionsoft. This is how Drip was acquired by Lead Pages. This is how they generated their first thousand customers. They just sent an email said, "Hey, I noticed you're using Infusionsoft. We launched something that's less costly and easier to use. If you want a quick demo, let me know." That was it. So find that list of people on LinkedIn. And contact them. Say, hey, I noticed we're both associated with this person. Uh, I noticed we both follow this thing. I noticed we're both consultants. Um, I'd just love to connect and help you any way I can. Then maybe a week later, you just say, hey, by the way, I just put together a quick case study on, um, on you know, how I help someone generate an additional 10K in revenue without paid advertising. Okay, so groups, Facebook groups, start a group, go in groups. Ask people a question. Hey, which one of these is your biggest struggle with this and that? Go direct message all the people that answer and say, hey, thanks for answering, by the way. Tell me more about your business. Start a conversation. The point of marketing is not to create a conversion, it's to create a conversation. All of our marketing right now, if you look at the whole genesis of, you know, this is the strategy we use for, for consultants from an ad, a picture of your signature solution, they opt in, you walk them through it, you talk, you show them your clear path, you get on the phone call with them and sell them a $5,000 program over and over. The whole genesis of that is the one page funnel. It's like no matter what type of business model you have, even if it's not consulting, where should you put human contact? How many of you received an email from me? Um, actually, all of our emails over the last like five months have had no clickable calls to action. It's the opposite of what all the gurus are saying to do. All of our email marketing says, hey, um, I'm putting together a program to solve this problem. If, uh, here's who it's for and it's not for. If you want more information, just respond to the email. So I send out one email 
uh, we launched a pilot, a done for you service pilot. One of our certified coaches, Liz Pineda, and I launched a done for you funnel build program. I sent an email and we had 350 people apply for it. Okay. And, and it's like people don't want to click on more stuff. They want to have a conversation. They want to be heard. They want to be felt. They want to be listened to. They want empathy. So if someone opts in, what would happen if you hired someone to call them? What would happen if you, if you had someone call everyone that opted in for your authority amplifier, your webinar and said, Hey, I noticed you went ahead and got our free report on how to get this result in this amount of time. I just wanted to offer a few moments and, and see if I could help you apply this to your business or to your life. We could jump on a quick call, have conversations, not conversions, conversations. Okay. That is a huge takeaway folks. The purpose of marketing, our mission, our, our whole shift and focus in our business is the only purpose of our marketing besides establishing trust with our brand, but the, the measurable purpose of our marketing is to generate a conversation. I can do that via messenger. I can do that when someone opts in. I can do that with intercom, with chat. It's like, I want to start talking to my leads, not trying to be cool. Like I, when I first started out, like, let's see if I can go sell $100,000 on a webinar and then a million dollars on a webinar. And then I'm like, what? wait a minute, wouldn't, how many more people would go through the webinar or sign up if somebody actually talked to them and cared about them and heard them and helped them apply it to their business and offered value? The purpose of marketing is not to generate a conversion, it's to generate a conversation, okay? Alex, you're welcome, okay? So Regis, you're welcome, no problem. Okay, and the Fletcher Method, uh, is there a, ver a certification program that specializes in e-commerce? Yes, we can connect you. What we do is we have a listing of, we're launching actually, it's kind of top secret, uh, a, a, a directory of all the consultants and coaches on the planet and having ours come up you know, indicating that they're certified. But if you go to our help center, Jane or, or Rebecca will send you uh, a list of coaches and consultants and you can see who focuses on e-commerce. Okay. I don't know of anyone offhand. I don't know if there is one, but there's 75 of them. So hopefully there are, there's one. Uh, I'm currently building my CAC funnel for my one-on-one -on -one coach. And my question is from your experience, what process is better at converting qualified uh, a great question. I love this question. Do you do a quick call uh, to a free 45 minute session and then close to your program or call to a paid session? Okay. Depends on the price of your offer. This is, you guys pay attention. All of you pay attention. It's really cool. So there's two ways to do what we call a CAC, a coaching agency consulting funnel. It's one of the main Fletcher method funnels. Uh, it's kind of the main one we use cause it's like, it's simple. It's so freaking simple. There's an ad, they opt in, either via messenger or email. You walk them through, you give them a quick promise of what you're gonna cover, that's your million dollar message. I'm gonna show you in the next two minutes how to get this result in this much time. You talk about the problems people are facing and you show them your signature solution. You show them what to do and you say, if you want it, see how this applies, how we can work with you to apply this to your life or business, all you have to do is give them a call. Now what her question is, do you do a call and then sell them a product or do you do a free call and sell them a paid strategy session? Does that make sense? So there's two different paths. I could do like a 30 minute call and say, cool, we have a $5,000 coaching program. We're going to help you solve this. Or I could do like a, a 15 or 20 minute call and say, the next step is a 90 minute strategy session for like a thousand bucks. Here's what I would do. If your coaching or consulting costs more than, than eight to 10 K, I would do the paid session. It's super powerful. It's crazy how powerful it is because it's a smaller commitment for them and you can have an assumptive sale. What, what does that mean? It means you can say, okay, well, from what I'm hearing, this is exactly what we do. I know, you know, you, you fit our profile of a perfect client. We, we help people solve this problem every day. It looks like you'd be a good fit. But the next step is, is to come up with your blueprint, a strategy session. So you can have a document that, like lay out your exact strategy, your exact blueprint. You'd work with me or someone on my team for an hour. It's a thousand dollars and you're going to walk away with a crystal clear blueprint for success. Whether or not we work with us down the road to implement it, you're going to know you're going to have all your messaging, all your copy and your exact system down. 
okay? By selling that $1,000 thing, you get way more conversions because it's a thousand bucks. And then guess what happens during that? You're actually getting paid to do a sales call. You're providing great value because you're helping them fill out whatever it is you do. Like you're basically taking your signature solution and doing a quick version of like, okay, here's your currency, here's your target market, okay, here's your product pricing. Whatever you do in your life, you're helping them fill out just a game plan. It's just a strategy session, it's an hour. But then you say at the end, so it looks like we have a clear plan for success. Now the question is how you can implement this. There's two options. You can go do it yourself, you hire someone else, or you can work with me. If you wanna work with me and implement it, I have cool news. You already spent $1,000 on me, so I'll just, I'll put that towards the first month of coaching. Um, so it's this $12,000 program. Hey, I'll work with you free for 30 days and see what it's like working with me, and then you'll just be billed $1,000 from there. So it's an assumptive sale too. Very, very powerful. Listen back to that if I went too fast. Okay. D, that's money in the bank. Okay. Rob says, I'm working on generating real estate listing. Sorry. I'm working on... And you guys are still typing into panelists. Make sure you type into everyone. You can, the little blue box you can type into attendees so we can see each other. You're working on generating real estate listing by working with probate properties. You're targeting the executors of the estate with a lead magnet of 65 step checklist through 10 stages of the founder stars. That sounds horrible. Here's why. Not that what you're doing is horrible. 65 of anything sounds horrible. That's why what we help you do is take those 65 steps and categorize them into three main stages. Like, look, here's the three things, the three critical phases, the three critical stages um, to go through this process, okay? Um, now what you can do is, since it's a 12 month, a six to 12 month process, you can just say, here's everything you need to do in the first 30 days of this process. Here's the 30 day quick start fast track. Okay, focus on the shorter term because they're gonna to wanna to work with you in the longer term. Help them get a result in 30 days and say, oh, if you wanna keep working with me we have a for the next nine months, cool, it's 10K, all right? A B2C strategy session is cheaper. Uh, if you're talking about like you know, weight loss or dating relationships, usually they're not a thousand bucks. You see people from three to 500, but you look, this is a qualifier in itself. If people aren't going to give you 300 bucks, they're not going to give you 5,000. So a one-on-one -on -one coaching program you sell for, for 5K, I would say, how long are you doing that for? Hopefully that's like a month or two or three. Because if, you're, if the outcome, if your pricing is based on outcomes, it should be worth exponentially more than 5K to your client and you're not leveraged. Can you do three more one-on-ones and then transition it to, okay, in six weeks, I'm going to launch a group program, the same content. I'm taking people through my signature solution. Here's a, here's, here's golden nugget, like number four folks, listen, please, please. Um, average coaches and consultants give people answers to their questions and help them like, Whoa, that sounds weird. Why would he say average? Because the highest level, the most, effective coaches or consultants provide context. They push back. They say, no, stop it. So when someone asks me, as a, as, because I have my signature solution, like put it this way, you, none of you could ask me a question about marketing that doesn't live inside here. There's not one question you could ever ask me. Try to do direct mail. What's the best headline for this? Uh, what's the best organic strategy for Instagram? It all lives here. So therefore, whenever one of your clients asks a question, Hey, what should I be doing about Twitter right now? Um, I'd say, well, wait a minute, stop one second. Before we talk about paid organic social media strategies, let's look at where you are in the general process. Tell me who you serve and how you articulate your message. What's the one problem you solve and how are you productizing and pricing? How do you, how do you serve your market? Are you doing one-on-one? -on -one? You're selling books? You're selling a, a, a whole Ascension model? All right. How are you getting leads? converting them into prospects and closing deals. Are you selling over webinars or on strategy calls? Cool. Now let's talk about how you're driving traffic. So that's the biggest gift you can give your clients and yourself is like context. 
So a lot of my friends um, keep saying content is everything. Well, we're realizing now content's king. Gary B was right. You just keep putting stuff out there all the time. No, the world is drowning in content. No one needs another video with standing out in front of your house about how, you know, the big takeaway you had from going to pizza last night. Great. I, I know it, it, it gets traction, but what people need, if you solve a clear enough problem, is context. They need a pathway. They need to know where it fits. Otherwise, you're overwhelming them. If you keep pu putting out random pieces of content to the world and don't show them where it fits in their path to their goal, you're confusing them and you're overwhelming them further. You're not providing value even though you think you are. Even though they might think you are, you're not. You need to provide context. Every piece of content you ever create has to come back here and show them this. So I could go do a little video like, hey, a lot of people ask me, um, uh, should I be doing video ads or image ads on Facebook? Let me show you the strategy we use and how it works and here's the three steps we use. By the way, what I just covered lives here, okay? So one of the things we did in our accelerator group uh, is we had, once you have your signature solution, we had folks come up with hundreds of topics. Yes, for YouTube videos, social media posts, emails, that you can, but they all have to live in here. So all you have to do is simply take every step of your signature solution and say, what questions do people, what problems does this solve? What are people Googling about each step here? Well, guess what? If I just did five for each of these steps, I have 45, my next 45 social media posts, YouTube videos, emails. And each one of those YouTube posts, videos, and emails is gonna use the same exact format. That authority amplifier video, you're gonna, you're gonna give it to them and then you're gonna walk them through and provide context. So we have a template we use um, specifically for coaches or consultants, but it's like, we're gonna use this content strategy. We're gonna say, here's what I'm gonna cover in the next two minutes to help you solve this problem. There's, there's proof. This is an exact, an, act, an exact client result, not just a bunch of BS. It's what all of our clients use. In fact, you can't find a successful avatar in the world that doesn't use this. There are three main struggles or problems that people have when it comes to Facebook ads or whatever. Let me show you the steps we use. But then there's context. I always have to zoom out and say what I just talked about, uh, lead magnets, is one part of a three-step system we, we use to help you double your sales in 90 days with zero guru bullshit. Okay? Context is king, not content. Context is king, not content. Content is everywhere. Content is drowning us. Content is fake news. Content is, an, and flooding your inbox and your text messages and your Facebook feed and your Instagram, content is not helping people get transformations. It's little nuggets of false confidence in many cases. Give your clients the big picture. Give your clients the puzzle, not a little jigsaw piece. And then fit everything you do inside the jigsaw piece, okay? Um, I love you. I love you so much, everyone. Goodbye.